Take number two of this episode of the ALX Press Box featuring Coach Julie Brooker, our softball coach, uh, who was named yesterday. And we're we're trying to capture a little Brady Bunch uh, square uh, cube, if you will. So I kind of wanted everybody. And if the girls on here look frantically like they're dressing to get ready to play softball tonight, it's because that's actually what's happening. Um, when we recorded this earlier in take one, everybody was chilling. It was lunchtime and finishing up their sodas. But now everyone seems to be putting on their travel ball uniforms and they were so kind to get back on so their miserable athletic director could do a second take because the audio didn't work the first time. But we're back. Coach Julie Brooker, how you doing? Hi, doing great. How are you? Good, good. She's still cool, calm, and collected. Um, even though I'm, my forehead is a little glossy from sweating and nervousness. <laughs> um, we also have uh, Abby Knowles. How are you, Abby? Tell us your grade and what position you play. Hey, I'm Abby. Um, I'm currently a sophomore, and I, I'm a utility. I play mainly middle infield, but I can play anywhere on the field except pitcher. <laughs> okay. I guess that's a unique <laughs> skill set. Next, I have yeah, McKay. I'll, I'll learn how to do it. I got Michaela Siaka. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Tell us a little bit about yourself, too. Um, I'm also currently a sophomore. Uh, my main position is middle infield, but I also play outfield and wherever they need me. Okay. Thank you, Michaela. And we've got Caitlin Johnston. How are you, Caitlin? I'm doing good. Um, I'm currently a junior right now, and my main position is utility outfield, and I'm left-handed. I can do anything they need me to do. All right, lefty. Can I call you lefty? Is all right, lefty? All right, cool. So uh, next we've got Jordan Esslinger. How are you, dear? I'm good. How are you? Doing good, doing good. Um, I'm currently a junior. Um, I'm a pitcher, but I can play anywhere you need me. Okay. All right, anywhere on the field. That's what I'm talking about. And we've got Jaylee Myers. How are you, Jaylee? Um, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm currently a junior, and I pitch, but um, I also can play literally anywhere. So. All right. So, uh, Coach Brooker, you know, we talked a little bit before about, uh, you know, when you were digging in saying, hey, give me a roster. What do we have coming back this year, et cetera? You know, I, I, I mentioned that, you know, a lot of the coaches who reached out maybe expressed a little interest. And in the interviews we did, people indicated, ah, uh, y'all lost a lot because you had a huge senior class this year. But, you know, I'm here to present these wonderful, young, hardworking ladies, all of whom had some varsity experience. We've even got two regular varsity starters in this mix right now. Uh, with Caitlin and Jordan, and so I'm here to tell you that we've got a lot coming back. So hopefully that's encouraging to you, Coach. Absolutely, shoot! I know we got a lot coming back. I'm I'm thrilled. Uh, uh, one thing I was uh, thinking is that a couple of my most successful teams in the past have been a group of. Uh, juniors, maybe sophomores that have moved up behind a big group, behind a big group of uh, graduating seniors, and man, that's 
that's where uh, I guess the magic's happened. Like uh, other schools may not uh, be prepared, but those players that are waiting in the wings, they're just waiting for their turn to shine. And um, it's like, it's going to be wide open. Everybody's going to be competing. Um, nothing is going to be uh, uh, given, you know? Um, so it's just the beauty of a fresh start. Mm -hmm. So we were, you know, uh, Obviously, the girls have this thing about whenever I come to their meetings, you know what y'all say, oh, God, we're about to lose a coach, or oh, God, we're getting a coach, you know, something to that effect. So hopefully they'll get used to seeing me around every now and then, other than to change coaches, right? <laughs> That's right. I'm planning on sticking around. That's what we need. We need a lifer, coach. We need a lifer. All right, all right. You know, um, yesterday was your first official day as the head coach, although we've been doing some things behind the scenes to, to get ready for you to meet these young ladies and get them going and working hard. Um, yesterday, you put out your first official tweet as the Alexander softball coach, right? And, you know, the principal and I have been talking all day about how impactful just that immediate message you sent um, that honored the legacy and the legend and the hard work of the coaches who came before you and the players who came before these young ladies. Talk to us a little bit about the motivation behind those words that you, you know, started out your career. Uh, I'm glad that it made a good impression. Um, you know, I think it's just a matter of just being really thankful for the state of the program and this fantastic school, um, you know, when, when big time jobs open up for head coaches, it's usually because there's a problem. Uh, they're not in a good state, but uh, I'm coming in and it's ready to roll. And so I you know I owe, owe a big thanks to uh, Coach Monroe, Coach Graham. They've done a fantastic job. Coach Monroe's been uh, super helpful and she wants us to succeed. And, and, and that's just a great thing. That's a great thing. And um, you can't get here by yourself, right? So Every girl that played before y'all, you know, they've, they've helped pave the way and they should be recognized. Right, right, right. So all of our, you know, ladies, I, I remember being at the game last year when it was our last game, right? We had a great ride this season and the girls fought back and, you know, fought hard against some really, really tough ranked teams, you know. And uh, when it all came to an end, you know, I could tell the girls were, you know, kind of hurt because we were in the hunt this year and expected a lot deeper run than we had. And coach, you know, you bring to the table some experience of what it's like to win some state championships, right? Talk to us a little bit about those feelings and what it takes to get there, you know, closer to the end. It's tough. I tell you what, it's tough. Um, and that's what's so special about tournaments and playoffs is anybody can win and uh, the rankings, all that kind of, even the records, you know, they, they kind of fly out the window and it takes some kind of uh, intense determination to, uh, to get there, you know, make an elite eight, a final four, win a state championship. Um, I can't remember which segment we talked about this and, but um very blessed to have won uh, two state titles in 2015 and 2016. But leading up to those, um, my teams went home runner up four mm. years in a row. Wow. And uh, at that point, I was, I was kind of thinking maybe, maybe I've done all I can do. Um, but there's a great coach out there, Coach Tony Wolf from uh, Buford. He said, Listen, coach. You got to keep kicking at that door until it comes down. And when it comes down, it just gonna, it's just going to, it's going to be a flood. So I think that's where we are. You know, we just got to dig in and, and, and go to work, make it happen. Okay. Ladies, raise your hand. If you like to go to uh, Columbus this fall, raise your hand. I'm raising both of mine. Like I'm telling you all I can get us a check. We can go eat good. You know what I mean? We, we can just make it happen. Right. <laughs> so uh you, coach brooker you alluded to we obviously guys you may hear some of the stuff we're talking about in two parts of this video because again this is take two of our first segment um so in the 
first recording, Michaela, you and Abby kind of were talking about some things that you're excited to see in terms of, you know, Coach Brooker getting in and getting started. So let's start with um, Abby and, you know, just kind of tell us a little bit about what, what you're excited about in terms of getting going with the new coach. Um, I'm going to take a part of what Michaela said in the last segment, but she said that she's excited to have like a fresh start with a new perspective, like with the new coach to see, I guess she has, she's never seen us on the field before and we all have to earn our spot in a certain way. And I'm just excited to get out there and like work hard to earn a spot that we have to like, like we, we want, want to play, play, so we have to earn it. No doubt. That's, and I'm excited to see how far she's going to take this. No doubt. So. Michaela, go ahead and uh, jump in and, you know, just kind of share your thoughts, too, because they were really hitting home. Just to, like, piggyback off of her and what we said, like, in the last recording, that she doesn't, she doesn't know us, so there's not going to be a chance of, like, favorites. Everybody's going to seen – is going to be seen equally – Everybody's going to have to try and earn their spot that they want to play, like stuff like that. Okay. So uh, let me just make sure that we're not breaking any laws. Caitlin, you, Caitlin White, you're not driving, are you? I'm not driving. Okay, good. good. Woo! <laughs> well, I was telling you, boy, that, that Georgia hands-free law, no distracted driving. I thought I was going to chain gang in here today getting you to break the law. But... <laughs> Are you on your way to a game too? Everybody's playing today. Wow. Okay. The girls are answering for you. You froze. You must be somewhere in Douglasville in the sticks. Um, my phone breaks up like that too. But Coach Brooker, the girls just basically are excited to say, you know, you got fresh eyes coming in, looking at them. Tell us a little bit about your philosophy and how their, their thoughts will come into play uh, with what they just said. Um, well, first off, I'm somebody that makes my own opinion of, of everyone. And so, you know, regardless of what I've heard, um, you know, this or that, I'm going to, I'm going to have my own opinion, but you're exactly right. It's fresh eyes. And what makes that hard for you guys is, uh, you know, you may not be able to rely on the fact that you've always been shortstop or you've always been center field, you know, you're going to, you're going to have to re-earn it. But, but in the end, uh, that, that competition is, uh, is going to be very good for the health of the team. Okay. So, okay, guys, we're back. Um, you know, a little, I reached my 15 minute maximum on that recording device, but I'm back with another one now. So, um, yes, we, we were just talking about celebrating, being able to go to, um, Columbus in October. Right. And so, uh, you know, ladies, is there something particular you want to ask the coach or, you know, anything of that nature, any any burning questions or anything like that? Uh, Abby's got her hand up and then Michaela. Okay. Um, so in your entire softball career, if you could go back in time and change or do something different, what would you pick or like change or do something different or not do? What a great question. <laughs> so, um, I wish as a college player that I had a better perspective, um, the perspective I have now, because um, it's so easy on a team just to feel like it's just another group of girls. You don't realize you're playing with the best of the best in the country. And um, so there were times when I got down on myself, you know, um, there, were, there were times when, you know, when I didn't understand coaches' decisions, and it was hard to stay positive, um, but had I just could have looked at it, you know, from the outside in and and seen more, um, really what had been accomplished already, I, I think uh, I think I could have been a better player. And um, a lot of the hardships that I went through, you know, you don't at the time you're not supposed to understand, you know, it takes years and years to understand like the, the character that that was building. So, you know, I, I would probably be a great question. Absolutely. Kayla had a question next too. Um, my question was, is 
what are you looking for like on the field or just as a team in general? Well, first off, it's a lot of what y'all have already said that you're willing to play anywhere. As uh, I am, I am very, I'm known to shake it up. So, um, you know, if you can hit, there's going to be a spot for you on the field. And, um, you know, I, you know, sometimes you just, you just don't know, you know, you might be a right fielder. You just might not know that you could be an incredible third baseman. You know, you just, um, and the days of being a one position player are so over, they've been over. And um, <clears throat> other than like pitcher catcher, those are pretty specialized, but everybody else has to be able to play everywhere. And so what that means is we're gonna compete every day. If you're an infielder, you're also an outfielder. Um, catchers will do infield, outfield. Pitchers will do it all. Um, so you'll get better at everything. And then we'll just fit pieces together with uh, who deserves to be where. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Anybody else have a question before I, I, I needed to uh, bring up something else to point? All right, go ahead, Kaylin. So um, what was your college experience like? What was it like? Um, so I've said life changing a lot. It was totally that. It was the complete realization of a um, you know childhood dream. It really was. Uh, I was small town. You know, I had like a couple of junior college offers, one D2, but uh, you know, I was, worked really hard in school as salutatorian. So I got into Georgia, you know, and uh, that's where I that's where I felt like I deserved to go. And um, it's, it's just so incredible. You know, you travel across the entire country. I played against some of the very best all time players, you know, probably one of the ultimate Jenny Finch went out to Arizona. We played against her. I mean, um, we're talking early 2000s, so y'all were maybe not even born yet, <clears throat> but <laughs> um, just incredible. You re you get a lot of recognition too, um, you know, on campus, on college as a, as a student athlete. And um, it's kind of a good lesson in, in humility, just to, just to keep yourself in check um, and to realize what a privilege, you know, you've been given, so. It's uh, set the tone for everything in my life. The same is true with uh, Coach Michael Brooker. Uh, he played at University of North Carolina and uh, basketball, and it's his whole life. Like you know, he's part of a an, a really elite family that embraces him. You know, just like they embrace Michael Jordan. You know, same same team. So it's really cool. I got to unmute. I was just about to start talking to myself. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, coach, the girls have all been asking and wondering, people, upcoming ninth graders have been asking about tryouts. Uh, when is this going to happen? So talk to us a little bit about your plan. Um, you know, you and I discussed it a little bit yesterday, but just kind of let everybody know what's going to happen and when. Okay. Well, so you know, last few years, Georgia high schools allowed you to have uh, five consecutive days in May to try out. And, you know, that was really a great time just to just to practice, get on the field, see what we've got. And it'd be one thing if I had already coached you guys a, a whole season or two and I, and I knew what we had and, you know, we're just taking a look at the new kids, but I don't know what we have. So we're going to leave it, we're going to leave it wide open and, um, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of individual stuff in June and, you know, I'll just, once I get names, we'll, we'll set up some one-on-one, uh, -on -one, two-on-one stuff um, and then team practice. We'll have a full week of team practice uh, the week after the dead week, right after the 4th of July. And um, after that week, we'll, uh, we'll list teams. Okay. Yeah. So basically you guys will just do some working out and skill based things mm -hmm. early in the summer and then an official tryout like right after dead week for the july ish right 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 okay. run it okay. like practice right so everybody don't eat real heavy on the fourth of july <laughs> you know, only two rib bones and not a whole slab and be ready to come and work right after that right that's right all right 
But listen, I mean, you know, these things are just kind of meant to just let the world know who you are and how you tick and let let everybody see how excited we all are that the family, especially the Sawball family is gonna continue and that the girls are in good hands. I, I assure you that Coach Monroe, Coach Graham have all reached out and said, make sure the girls are in good hands. Because, you know, once you're a Cougar, you're always a Cougar. Um, that's kind of how we see it. So, you know, we all got love for them and they've got love for you guys too. And um, Coach Brooker, if you would, oh, one more thing, make sure you guys come out to the parent and player meeting on Wednesday, August 20, uh, August, April 28th, April 28th at 7 p.m. in the gym. Wednesday, April 28th at 7 p.m. in the new gym. That'll be a meet and greet for those who are not on this meeting, as well as an informational meeting about uh, what Coach Brooker just, just said about the summer workouts, conditioning, and tryouts. All right, um, so Coach Brooker, I want you to be the last one to talk. Um, <laughs> so any words of wisdom or just a quote or anything inspirational that you'd like to say to the girls and to anyone listening, um, the floor is yours. I'm not even going to say bye after you. Oh, wow. Okay. I got to say, um, you know, it was hard waiting for the announcement, but yesterday was super exciting. Just, you know, all the the uh, social media platforms that uh, Mr. Chandler had buzzing. It was really cool. Um, and uh, for me, this is the opportunity of a lifetime. I'm coming in to stick around and, um, and this is gonna be a Alexander leg legacy that you guys are building and uh, continuing on. We're coming in, coming in not just to be championed. You know, if you want to be a state champion, you gotta you gotta aim above that. And um, we're looking to try to be the best team in the state, trying to get you guys uh, plugged in at the next level. If that's what you want, we're gonna we're gonna dream big, okay? And uh, what you learn on the field is gonna be able to take you wherever you want to go in life so uh i don't know i don't know if you you guys are ready for me um i've never met anybody that loves the game more so i i challenge y'all to that you know and <clears throat> i remember coach harris champer telling us that she would do what she does for free and you know now that she's making quite a bit of money you know i could have told you that in the interview mr chandler i would have done it for free but uh, uh, just so excited to get started and know that like you can uh, reach out to me, email, text, call me, um, you know, let's just get some conversations going. So, so we're ready to hit the ground running. All right. Well, I said I wasn't going to say nothing, but it's kind of improper just to hang up on people, right? <laughs> yeah. Everybody wave, Will. Uh, Y'all stay on. <laughs>